Okay, so for our sample problem number one, so meron daw tayo normally consolidated clay layer that has the following properties. No? So, ang tatanungin dito, what is the total settlement daw of the clay layer T years after the completion of primary consolidation settlement? So, ibig sabihin, pagkatapos ng primary consolidation uh, settlement, so 2 years kasi natapos na daw yung primary consolidation natin. No? Eh, ang tinatanong, 5 years after. So, ibig sabihin dun sa 3 years natin, nangyari pa yung secondary consolidation natin. No? So, to find for the total settlement, so, kailangan natin isolve yung ating settlement for primary and then yung ating settlement for secondary consolidation. Okay po? So, yun. Ano na susunod natin gagawin? So, kung wala tayong maisip na gagawin, ang unang-unang pwede natin gawin is to recall our basic settlement formula which is equal to initial height ng ating uh, soil layer wherein kung saan mag-occur yung ating consolidation times yung ating change in delta E all over 1 plus initial void ratio natin. No? However, alam naman natin na kapag ka primary consolidation, so for primary consolidation, yung change in delta E natin, so normally consolidated clay, so ang gagamitin po natin ay compression index times logarithm of P2 over P1. So, paano naman kapag ka secondary consolidation? So, alam naman natin na yung delta E for secondary uh, consolidation. So, ang gagamitin na natin ay secondary compression index multiplied sa logarithm of T2 over T1. So, kalog ng time over 2 over what? Okay, so ngayon, para masolve natin yung total settlement, so syempre, isa-isahin muna natin, no? So, magsimula tayo dun sa primary consolidation. So, sa primary consolidation muna tayo, okay, yung settlement natin for primary consolidation is equal to height ng initial clay layer natin or soil layer times initial ng void ratio wherein yung delta E natin, ano ba yung delta E for primary Consolidation. Ito po yung delta E natin. So, ipapasok lang natin itong equation na to dun sa ating basic settlement formula. Okay. So, CC log of P2 all over P1. So, meron ba tayong H1? So, meron, no? Soil layer thickness ng clay. So, tama. Clay layer. So, kung ito yung ating uh, ground surface, tas may thickness tayo ng 5 meters. So, ayun. Meron tayong... H1. So, ano pa ba yung mga nakasulat dito? So, meron din tayong initial void ratio. May compression index. May effective. Okay. May effective pressure na tayo. So, di na natin kailangan mag-solve ng total pressure minus pore water pressure. So, meron na rin given na delta P. So, kaya na rin natin isulat yung P2 natin, di ba? Which is equal to PO plus delta P. Tapos, yung P1 natin, siya yung PO natin. So, meron na rin yan, no? So, check na yan. Check. Meron na tayo yan. Meron na tayo yan. May CC na tayo. Yes po. May CC na tayo. May E1 ba tayo? So, yes po. Meron din tayong E1. So, ngayon, na meron naman na pala tayo mga kailangan nating value. So, pwede, pwede na nating isolve yung ating primary consolidation. So, ano po ba yung H1 natin? So, meron tayo. Okay. Initial na clay layer na 5 meters plus 1 plus E. Okay, initial void ratio natin, which is 0 0.6 times CC log natin. What is CC? Okay, 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2 times logarithm of P2 over P1. So, ano ba yung P2 natin? It is PO plus delta P. Ano po ba yung PO natin? 100. Okay, plus delta P. Ano po ba yung delta P natin? 50. Okay, all over dun sa ating PO. So, ano ba yung PO natin? Ngayon po, paulit-ulit, 100. So, now we can solve for our settlement caused by primary consolidation, which is equal to 0 0.1 meters or 110.0570 mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Pwede na yan. Mm yan. Okay? So, ito po yung ating settlement. However, ayun, dito pa lang tayo, no? So, sa primary 
consolidation pa lang tayo. So, paano kaya natin isosolve yung ating secondary consolidation?